Hello everyone, welcome back to the My Maverick channel and here we talk about cryptocurrencies, we talk about trends, we look at trends and we try to see how to position ourselves in the digital currency space. Of course, today is Friday which means I'm going to be doing something new called Play to Earn Friday. What does Play to Earn Friday mean? It's essentially in the word. So I'm going to be bringing to you ecosystems or play to earn games that have been time tested. You need zero to little input in terms of investment, all you need is download the metamask wallet you can go into these platforms you can start accumulating and you can eventually mint nfts that you can actually trade on the open market and some of these platforms are time tested but they're still in their nascent stages so which means you can actually get a good footing right now if you started so guys if you're interested if you think you're going to be interested in this kind of content then please stay tuned and watch the whole video Okay, people, so the game I'm going to be reviewing today or the play to earn game is called Wonder Zone and this game is in Decentraland. So I think, let me show you. So when you go to Decentraland.org, so you have your MetaMask wallet. If you're not too sure what that is, go to Google and type in MetaMask. That's a Web3 wallet, the most popular Web3 wallet. Go to, just go, uh, you can go to Marketplace, but this is not a video about Decentraland. So you can click get started and your MetaMask will prompt to ask you to log in so if you can log in with a name i mean you can log in here or you can log in as a guest okay and these different uh, uh i think when you log in as a guest you don't log in with your metamask i'm not too sure but try to log in in the best way that connects with your metamask because that's when you get the full experience of this ecosystem so Okay, so this is how the screen looks like when Decentraland is actually loading into the ecosystem. And I'm going to show you two ways of landing into this uh, play to earn uh, area. And I'm also going to talk about a little bit of the outfit that I'm rocking today. So let's see as this spins, we're downloading the latest version of Decentraland. You'll be up and running in a few seconds. Guys, uh, Decentraland, most of the other ecos some of the other ecosystems you go there, they say you need these NFTs to participate, you need this to participate. What I'm showing you today, it's a play to earn game. You don't need nothing to participate. Otherwise, you actually, you actually mine. You participate in this ecosystem. It's something interesting that you can do and you, you can win, you can earn exclusive NFT. Not that you can, you will if you persist in mining and accumulating. Okay, so this is an area in Decentraland. Basically, anyone that drops into De Decentraland drops into this area first. It's the Genesis City. So you can scroll these different tabs to see different things that you want to see. You can press E, you have instructions to go up and down to see different activities you want to perform. You can, uh, there's another pillar here that's more specialized. So you can drag and rush the other games you can play. Decentraland is massive guys. Now Wonder Zone, usually you find it at the base of this pillar right here and you click on it and you jump in. So pretty cool graphics. The other method for the OGs, you can go to, you press M on your keyboard and when you go diagonally like this, the Decentraland map is massive. So from Genesis City, if you go diagonally like this, give me a second, press M, go diagonally like this, you see a ton of people right here. Okay, that's another way. Click on any area here. Basically, it's a Wonder Zone mining. Click there and click jump in and you'll get started, guys. And you don't need any sort of monetary investment here. All you need is time and persistence. And you can basically just have popcorn as you're doing this. And eventually, over time, you'll get what you... So before, guys, before I talk about this, let me talk about this outfit that I'm rocking. This is the Dap Craft outfit. One of the first uh, outfits to be accepted on the central land. I'm, I'm wearing the full thing. So just to quickly talk about this. Um, this is the Moon Miner brand collection by Dapcraft. I'll talk about it a little bit, then I talk about Dapcraft. You guys will be, I think you'll be impressed by these Dapcraft people, especially if you've never uh, learned of them. So be patient with me on this video because the actual play to earn game is going to be short. I'm just going to introduce you to it. That's how easy it is. You, yeah, it's quite easy, quite simple, and it's it's, it's in its nascent stages. That's even the uh, most beautiful thing. So the pace of the industry is astounding. And the list of brands heading into the metaverse is growing day by day. However, don't forget that they'll all come into a, a kind of a culture form that develops according to independent canons. So the clearest example of such canons is the Moon Miner, so the outfit. This is one of the first third-party apparel collections that was approved by Decentraland. The suit has become a recognizable brand for many users of the metaverse. Moon Miner can easily be called the first successful brand to grow in the metaverse. It has begun to be ported to other worlds and will soon appear in sandbox and other worlds. So it's pretty sick now guys 
check out this this these dark craft people they have a reputation quite the reputation so you can when you come to their website you can look at their team you can come sort of look at their projects uh, uh free tone hq the outfit alien world and you're going to see other they talk about some other projects they've done so let's look at them here okay of course there's their team and so on but what they've done their reputation precedes them so those that have been around the crypto space there's kraken the webs uh that website the uh centralized exchange it has been around one of the ogs these guys created their outfit their nft uh, the board aph club robot you're going to see something about the crypto punks uh, the steam punks so those that have been around the centralized space this is these are iconic kind of things coca-cola wearable allison in wonderland steampunk apollo the apollo mission for nasa moon miner now guys there's the crypto punk uh, uh, i'll go to that later you're going to be pretty amazed by what they did with this okay so there's some big events that happened in decentraland these guys actually made this the stage this is one of the biggest events in decentraland it was a halloween event they actually have some nfts from here that we won for participating uh they built that so the other pretty cool stuff star wars here they have their hands deep into some serious stuff so these are these are people you might want to look into especially if you're trying to navigate this nft this nft space metaverse space whatever you want to call it uh because they're time tested now look at for those that are not okay let me type crypto punks here because some people here might be new to the crypto space and they might not know the crypto punks so essentially this is what the crypto punks are okay this is what they look like some of these have been bought for millions of dollars and right now i don't know how much you can get for one so check out what these guys did when you go to their uh open sea you can see what they've done look at this this is like a crypto punk it mutes into this beautiful gorgeous art piece of a real person check this out oh my gosh guys look at this of, and they're not even for sale the prices you're seeing here 0.007 ETH. of course this is just an off offer look at this this is gorgeous this this is gorgeous this is gorgeous this is how, this is how crypto punks should have been this is gorgeous so that shows you the, the prowess of of these people and their capabilities guys this is decentralized look at the number of people in here these are real people of course most of them are guests guys i'm not a guest i'm an og so you can check my name here is mawa okay there's numbers here but let me type something in the chat over here on the left hand side you can actually you can talk to any people here you can uh, people can talk you can even have a, a voice chat let me type hi so you can see my name is just mawa okay but most of other people you see their names have a hash on them they have uh, something hashtag this something hashtag this means they haven't yet bought an nft or i mean they haven't bought their name on decentraland yet so guys what is wonder zone wonder zone is a place in decentraland the hottest place in decentraland you can look around one of the others is ice poker but right now we're talking about wonder zone decentraland is a massive ecosystem so here essentially the basic premise when you land into this place guys of course you see some robots here they're not for sale i think you can see some of them uh, on open sea they're very expensive these are iconic kind of things but here they're just uh, being advertised i don't know when they mint some i think somewhere they show you that we mint one every year some crazy stuff like that i'm not too sure wait uh let's see let's see uh the, the piggy thingy you click on it a sign showing the wonder uh bot proof of work algorithm you look at this um mercer mercer the prize Pug donating his precious energy to the production of uh, Wonderbots. He only walks once a year. Hmm. Hmm. So probably creating only one Wonder. I don't know, guys. So, anyways, the whole premise. Okay. There are these minerals that you're seeing here. Okay. So there's this sapphire. This is in order of rarity. So I think sapphire is the least rare. Then you go to emerald. Then rubies. Then diamonds are the rarest of them all. Then you come to these rocks. We have the copper ignot the iron ignot then you go to the titanium and the gold and lastly the platinum which is the rarest and then the axes so of course when you're mining you're going to need tooling so when you drop into this place you have an, a stone axe for free you don't need to go buy this or anything it's not actually an nft but wait we'll get there now as you mine you collect material just keep grinding keep mining you collect material you can use them to upgrade your axe to the next one so it's a stone axe upgradable pick axes then you go to you can upgrade to this one can upgrade to this one upgrade to this one and this one can be minted into an nft but it's not available right now they run out so i think they'll release some more i don't know when they haven't yet communicated okay but you you can't yet sell these at nfts even if you have it 
so this is the most the best axe you can get this one i think it's the diamond pick axe we're going to look at more detail about it and then finally no this one right here this blue one this is the the best then this one is the fancy fancy one the gem axe which just looks beautiful but it doesn't serve any purpose that's better than this one but it just looks unique quite interesting actually you need the same amount of materials to mint this one as the ones you used to mint this one okay so guys in this game there are rocks that will fall that you mine to uh, acquire those materials that those minerals and materials that we've just talked about the rocks and the diamonds and the rubies and so on the titanium the platinum and when you come over to this corner guys we'll get into it patience so this gives you a little bit more detail about the video about the game so wonder mine help us stop these uh, um, inferno meteors. So number one, tap a meteor and your axe starts mining. That's literally all you need to do. Literally, if you stop there and that's all you need to do. But let's continue. You need five wonders on coins. So of course to mine. So uh, guys, remember you don't need to buy these coins. Uh, you can buy if you want, but Ethereum gas fees are crazy. However, they give you, they replenish your basket of coins by 100 coins. I think every 24 hours or around that range. Okay. And so every, like every minute or something, your coins increase. But once they reach a cup of 100, that's it. So once you finish the, once you come mine, finish the 100, then they start replenishing all over it. I mean, they're always replenishing by the cup at 100. So you need five of those. So these are the ones down here. Let me change it. This W here, 86. So we'll get into those details later. So, okay. Uh, you need those. Uh, coin craft, you... Um, okay. Uh, you get 100 coins free every day. It's actually here. If you run out, get more at the coin, cra coin cart. We'll, we'll look at the coin cart. Collect materials and make things at the crafting machine. We'll look at where that is. Craft better pick access for greater mining efficiency. Already talked about that. Your efficiency increases. And collect enough ingredients to craft wearables and wonders on NFTs. And you'll be able to sell these things. Guys, if you take, if you take advantage of this opportunity, this is not yet booming. It's not yet booming. And yet this is a time-tested uh area okay so there's a there's a, a cart here where you can uh, mint these coins but guys remember ethereum so you can pay mana to mint these coins but okay i don't think you can see my meta mask right now so you can pay 40 mana to mint a couple of coins guys guess what my meta mask is showing me uh 13,552.85 dollars in ethereum to mint these coins so guys screw this but why i like this why i like the fact that ethereum gas fees are expensive for this game it means it creates a level playing field it means everyone has to grind sweat and blood every day to sort of every all you have to do is to remember to grind okay so that is actually like for the first time i like that ethereum gas fees are high okay so now guys this is the magical machine the magical machine that actually crafts so on your keyboard in the central you can you can press v which puts you in this first sort of first person uh first person uh, view and uh, the first thing we can look i'm not going to take too long on this so craft omatic matic craft omatic so use the red arrows below to see the crafting recipes when you have all the ingredients the lever to the right will glow so click the lever so guys you see right here the corner so you see i have 86 coins right now i have 715 uh, uh these i'm not too sure what these minerals are called i'm not sure if they talked about them there i don't think but you just acquire them you need them when you click this but this 30 here is the level so the more you mine the more your level increases when you click this little rack sack over here of course this is where your minerals are um currently have 38 diamonds 48 platinum guys i've been grinding every day uh, but i'm waiting and i've been upgrading access but i'm waiting to um since they until they drop the axe so as you can see i have dime uh, 98 rubies and so on Okay, I have 119 access. Your access run out, but you can replenish them. So when you click the arrows left or right, you can see the bronze axe. So when you have the stone axe, you when you've mined, say, 20 of these rocks, 15 or 15 of these rocks, you have one axe minimum. You have 15 of those minerals and 10 minimum coins. You can upgrade your axe to that. And so on, you, you can upgrade to the next, uh, depending on those materials, then upgrade to the next, then upgrade to the next. This one is the Okay, let, let's look at the axes and what they're called. The crafting machine will forge you a hard iron axe. So you start with a uh, the bronze axe. So forged from copper with a hardwood handle, this axe is 10% more efficient than the stone axe. So that's your first upgrade. The next, the iron pick axe. The crafting machine will forge you a hard iron axe that's 20% more efficient than stone. Then we have the guys give me a second we have the titanium pickaxe this axe is a str is as strong as steel but lighter weight and more damage resistant it gives you a 30 percent bonus when mining meteors now guys this is one i'm waiting to get drop no this is the golden pickaxe the one i have gold uh, golden highlights decorate this titanium steel axe that mines 40 percent more 
um, of the media. So of course you need uh, more rare materials. Like uh, you can see, I think you need uh, yeah you need some diamonds as well. You know to to mine this one, and the diamond pickaxe guys. This is what I'm waiting for because it's out of stock. So the diamond pickaxe NFT. So it's the first NFT diamond tipped and plat and platinum decorated titanium steel pickaxe. The ultimate mining tool with a 50% bonus. So out of stock right now. So new NFT axe coming soon. So that's why guys, I'm saying this is still nascent stages. It's actually out of stock. You can participate and position yourself. And then finally, the Wonder Gem Pickaxe NFT. Tough titanium pickaxe with a hard Wonder Gem shell. Gives 50% mining bonus plus extra Wonder Gems. Now, guys, it does not stop there. If you collect these materials, you can use them. You see, I can mint here. Uh, for the sake of demonstration, I don't want to mint. But for the sake of demonstration, of course, I'm going to mint. So you can mint the Glow Metal. So glowing alien metal refined from Meteor One. So you can use all the materials to mint some pretty cool NFTs. So you mint this, you can mint cloth. So it's a blue fabric, uh, flexible but durable blue fabric used to make wonders on uh, NFTs. They, these coins, the wearable tokens. So create and collect uh, these tokens plus other needed materials to craft wearables. And this shows you to the left the materials you need to actually craft these things. So you can craft these t shirts, Wonder Zone t shirts. You can, uh, if you have the materials, you have these one, uh, Wonder, John, Wonder Zone gems or uh, what do they call them? Wonder wearable, wearable tokens. You have other um, uh, materials. You can craft those. You can craft the hat. You can craft a sweater. You can craft this. You can craft that. Uh, there's some other pretty cool ones. I think this is like a wearable big nose. You can craft these, which are wearable devil horns. Uh, let me change the view. You can craft, um, let me take it back. You can craft all kinds of things. Now, there's even some pretty cool stuff. You can craft this tiger warrior torso. There's all this pretty cool stuff. Look wearable dragon rider jacket and the more of course they get more and more expensive and you can craft this pretty cool dragon thing and and so on and you can fix your pickaxe okay i'll demonstrate by just fixing my pickaxe uh, so repair your pickaxe um has your pickaxe run out of so if you run out of pickaxe you can just click this same as the mining thing machine does its thing pretty cool pretty cool yeah See, my axes are now 200 and same thing happens with all others. So guys, you can see the number of people in this space now that you've been brought up to speed. What you're seeing over there, the banner over there, this is a promotion that ended. So it's no, uh, different companies usually come to WonderZone and they promote themselves. By the way, Fetch, if you're listening, this is something you could do. You could come here, do a 2x. It's amazing how much attention you bring to the Fetch community. Anyways, guys, let's continue. So. You can come here. These meteors fall from the sky, so you can have two maximum on the ground. Uh, you 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 mine alone, but in the future they want to create something called shared mining. All you have to do is click on it. Okay. So depending on the type of axe that you have, your mining efficiency will increase. So and the more you grind, the more you get. That's all you need to do. Grind mine. That's all you need to do. You don't need any money investment. Eventually, you'll be able to access NFTs. And guess what? When you mine, your material sure. Meteor mine. You've got loot. So I've got one wonder coin, one, a ruby, and some copper. And you continue, you mine other rocks. Sometimes you get bonus mining uh, items. Guys, you see the number of people here. And this is not even, sometimes there's way more people than this. So the two most populated areas in Decentraland are this wonder zone area. And of course, the Genesis Plaza where you drop. So of course, when your mine is done, the rock splits open and it shows you what you get. And sometimes you get bonus loot, which has some interesting stuff like diamonds, platinum and some other stuff. Okay. If you're new to this game, you can come to this little statue over here. What does it say? The first Meteor Chaser NFT one of 100. So I don't, it won't work for me. But if you come here, if you're new to this space and you finish your tokens, the W tokens over here, you can click on this guy. Uh, at this spot, Call Molly saw the first glow meteor crash to earth, 4th of June, 2020. The WC bonus is over, but might be back one day. So I think it's, it's, it's over. I don't know whether just for me or generally. So that's another way to get extra tokens. So guys, this I think this is a beautiful um, uh, game. And the Wonder Zone people are really expanding this and they're expanding this and they're growing all this is their land they're purchasing more land and they have other things to come actually when you go to their website guys I actually forgot this is their website you can get more details about this game and what their plans are what their roadmap is what they're planning to do and you get more details about the game for example visit central land they give you the area the location the address all you have to do is click it make sure your metamask is open and you get dropped in there 
okay uh, be careful meteors are falling run the first so what's all this stuff about guys i want to put this link in the description they're basically describing everything i've been describing to you and you can get some bonus loot as i was talking about the bonus loot you can craft these real central land wearables that you can sell on the open market some of these things will go for a high amount of money because it takes time to mine these things and then be able to acquire them but guess what you you do a grind every day in a maybe in like a month you will have enough material to of course to upgrade your access but even eventually to mint these nfts and all you have to do is just keep persisting and doing it that's all that's needed guys so i think to me this speaks to me as true um, 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 play to earn games that are not complicated that do not have any barriers to entry and that truly are supportive of this of this narrative of true innovation and beautiful innovation that's inclusive of all kinds of people and that's the reason you're seeing a tremendous amount of people here that have all kinds of walks of life high net worth low net worth doesn't matter anyone participate everyone participates at a level playing field guys i hope you check out this this place i'm not paid by these people i'm not paid by any of these things it's just something i do personally hence i think it's it's also important and fair that i bring it to you especially if you don't know about it this could be a very nice way very nice foray into this uh, crypto space guys i hope you enjoyed i hope you learned something today I, I really hope you did, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.